Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up another very very interesting question from radical equations. x square plus 7 minus x cube over square root 5 minus x square equal to 5 and we are going to find out all real solutions. So let's get started. I can write denominator cannot be 0. So x square cannot be equal to 5 or x cannot be equal to plus minus square root 5. Now I will take away x square from both sides. So 7 minus x cube over square root of 5 minus x square will be equal to 5 minus x square or we can write 7 minus x cube will be equal to 5 minus x square times square root of 5 minus x square. Now for real x, radicant must be positive. So square root will be positive. 5 minus x square is positive. So our RHS will be always positive. So our LHS must be positive. So I can conclude x cube should be less than 7. Now we can use substitution square root 5 minus x square. Let's say this is y. So I can write 5 minus x square will be equal to y square or x square plus y square equal to 5. I will consider this is equation number 1. And here I will be writing 7 minus x cube equal to 5 minus x square is y square. The square root 5 minus x square is y. So this side we can write y cube. Or we can write x cube plus y cube equal to 7. This equation I will say equation number 2. Remember our x cube will be always less than 7. Let's solve this new system of equations. So I will write x square plus y square equal to 5. x cube plus y cube equal to 7. Now I will consider cubing of first equation and squaring of second equation. Let's use the algebraic formulas a plus b whole cube and a plus b whole square. So here I can write x power 6 plus y power 6 plus 3 x square y square n bracket x square plus y square equal to 125. x square plus y square is 5. So I can write x power 6 plus y power 6 plus 15 x square y square equal to 125. I will say this is our equation 3. Now I will consider this equation a plus b whole square we can apply. So x power 6 plus y power 6 plus 2 times x cube y cube equal to 49. I will consider this is equation 4. Let's perform operation equation 4 minus equation 3. So x power 6 plus y power 6 will be cancelled out. So I can write 2x cube y cube minus 15x square y square equal to 49 minus 125. Let us say xy is u. So our equation will become 2u cube minus 15u square equal to minus 76. Or we can write 2u cube minus 15u square plus 76 equal to 0. Let's find eligible factors of constant 76. So we can write plus minus 1 
प्लस माइनस टू प्लस माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस नाइनटीन एंड सो ऑन फॉर लीडिंग कोफिशन टू वी कैन राइट प्लस माइनस वन एंड प्लस माइनस टू लेट्स प्लग इन यू इक्वल टू वन एंड चेक वेदर दिस विल सेटिस्फाई अवर इक्वेशन और नॉट सो आई विल राइट टू माइनस फिफ्टीन प्लस नो इट वॉन्ट u equal to negative one, so minus two minus fifteen plus seventy six. Again no. Let's check u equal to two. So I will write sixteen minus sixty plus seventy six. Again not. And for u equal to minus two, this will come out minus sixteen minus sixty plus seventy six. This time it is satisfying our equation. so u equal to negative 2 will be our base solution now we can use synthetic division method so we have to write all the coefficients of cubic equation 2 minus 15 0 76 two will be as it is now we have to multiply these two the base solution And number written here minus two times two minus four addition will be minus nineteen minus two times minus nineteen thirty eight addition will be thirty eight minus two times thirty eight minus seventy six zero here we have coefficients for quadratic equation and equation will become two u square minus nineteen u plus thirty eight equal to zero. so this is one quadratic equation i can use quadratic formula let's write 2u square minus 19u plus 38 equal to 0 so i can write u will be equal to minus b so minus of minus 19 19 plus minus square root of b square 361 minus 4ac minus 304 Over two a, so four. Two times two is four. Nineteen plus minus square root fifty seven over four. Now I will put the approximate values. Nineteen plus minus. Let me write seven point six over four. So u will become twenty six point six over four. And eleven point four over four approximate values equal to six point six and two point eight. Now we can use our second equation x cube plus y cube equal to seven. I can use a cube plus b cube formula. So x plus y times x square plus y square minus x y equal to seven. And u was our substitution. This is x y, so we have two x y values. What I am going to do here? X square plus y square is five, so I can write x plus y will be equal to seven over five minus x y. Now let us put x y six point six and x y two point eight. And find the value of x plus y. So for six point six, so we'll write seven over five minus six point six. So this x plus y will come out negative four point three. And for x y equal to two point eight, we will get three point one seven. So we can frame again two quadratic equations. Or two systems first, so I can write here x plus y equal to minus four point three with x y value six point six. Second system x plus y equal to I will write three point one seven with x y value two point eight. and if i will make or i will frame quadratic equations 
in both the cases. So I can write x square plus 4.3x plus 6.6 .6 equal to 0 here. And here I will be writing x square minus 3.17x plus 2.8 equal to 0. In both the cases, we will get our discriminant negative. So we will reject both the equations, both the systems and equations. So u equal to negative 2, our base solution will be accepted 1. So u was xy, xy equal to negative 2. Now I will write x plus y. This was 7 over 5 minus xy. So 7 over 5 minus of minus 2, which will give us 7 over 7. So x plus y will be equal to 1. xy minus 2, x plus y 1. Now we can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y. Then this is sum of roots, product of roots. So we can write x square minus sum of roots, which is 1 times x plus product of roots, which is minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can use factorization method. So I will be writing x square minus x can be written as minus 2x plus x minus 2 equal to 0. x is common, x minus 2. 1 is common, x minus 2 equal to 0. So we can factor x plus 1 times x minus 2 equal to 0. So we will get x equal to negative 1 and x equal to 2. Now we have written one condition. x cube should be less than 7. Let's check x cube also. So minus 1 cube, 2 cube. So this is equal to minus 1, which is less than 7. And this is 8, which is greater than 7. So 2 will be rejected. Only accepted real solution will be x equal to negative 1. Let's check our answer. Verify our result verification x equal to minus 1. So here we can write minus 1 whole square plus 7 minus minus 1 whole cube over the square root of 5 minus minus 1 whole square. This is our LHS. So I will be writing 1 plus 7. Minus 1 cube is minus 1. So 7 plus 1 over the square root of 5 minus 1. So I can write 1 plus 8 over the square root 4. 1 plus 8 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus 4 will come out 5, which is our RHS. Hence, x equal to minus 1 is our true and verified solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Bye-bye.